Good morning and welcome to the video for Wednesday, May the 20th. This is going to be our last lesson video for fifth grade for the school year. So um, I'm very excited about this. I hope you are too. Um, please understand that this is a more complicated um, lesson. So don't feel bad if you need to pause the video at any time. Please go ahead and do so. Um, I'm going to leave a uh, natural pause in there so we can work on the share and show and on your own questions. Um, by yourself and before I give the answers. So let's take a look at what we're working with today. So we are working on strategies to find the volume of a shape that is not um, equal all the way around. So we have this huge gap here. So one of the ways that we can do that is to break the shape up into two rectangular prisms and find the volume of each of those. The other way, of course, would be to find the total volume and then subtract out the part that's missing. So depending on how that works out for you, um, whichever strategy you're more comfortable with, um, that would be the one that I would recommend that you use going forward. For the lesson today, we're going to be mostly working with the part where we break it up into separate rectangular prisms. So to start with, we can find our uh, measurement for this portion by doing our total height, which is 6, minus the 2 for the blue part, and that would give us 4. And so now we have all the numbers that we need. And we are doing 4 times 4, which is 16, times 2, which is 32. And so I'm going to go ahead and copy that down here. And then for our right-hand side, which is our blue rectangular prism, we can do 10 times 4 times 2, which gives us 80. And so when I add those together, I'm going to get a total of 112 cubic inches. And so... Uh, let's go ahead and look at what it would look like to figure out the rest of our measurements. And they've went ahead and given some of them here, um, but I'm going to talk through how we get those. So our total uh, length here for 10 minus 2, so our greatest total volume would be 10 times 6 times 4. That's going to give us 24 times 10, which is 240. And now I can subtract out the parts that we need to. So 10 minus 2 gives us our 8 here. Um, our 6 minus 2 for this height is going to give us the remaining height of 4. And then our width or depth is going to stay the same. So we are going to have 8 times 4 times 4, which is going to give us 32 times 4, which is 128. And so my last step would be to take my total volume, as if that part were not missing, of 240, subtract 128, and that is going to give us the 112 cubic inches that we were working with to start. So one of the things that we will have to do is figure out what to do if we have to make three uh, different rectangular prisms. So to start with, I'm going to go ahead and talk you through how we would find the measurements. So to find our sides going for the length, we can start with 12. Um, we have a 5 here and a 3 here, which add up to 8, which means my last one is going to be 4 from left to right. All of them are going to have the same width of 5, and then we are going to have different heights. So our center one is going to be 5 high, this side is going to be 2 high, and this side is going to be 4 high. So with that in mind, we can go ahead and find all of our measurements. So we are working with 3 uh, times a height of 4, and then our depth is going to be 5. So that's going to give us 20 times 3 for 60 cubic feet. Our center one is, again, going to be 5 times 5, and then we are going to be 8 high. So I'm going to rewrite that as 8 times 5 times 5, so I can do 40 times 5 to get 200 cubic feet. And then this side is going to be 2 times 5 times 4, so 5 times 4 gives me 20, 20 times 2 gives me 40, and as I write these down, I'm going to go ahead and group my 60 and 40 together to make 100, plus our 200, which will give us 300 cubic feet. So let's talk through um, the problems. I'm going to do 1 through 5 for this. I'm going to leave uh, 6 out, 
just for uh, sake of time, let's go ahead and talk through what we would need to do. So for number one, we're going to do two separate rectangular prisms. And so we have the volume um, measurements that we need for the bottom. Again, it's a matter of doing five minus two to figure out what the height would be for the top. The uh, width or depth is going to remain the same. And then uh, we're gonna be two uh, from left to right for the length. So that gives us everything we need to know for that one. For number two, what I would suggest, um, you can do it two different ways. Um, actually, I think the easier way would probably be to do it this way, but I'm gonna have you practice uh, doing the subtraction method. So what I want you to do is to go ahead and do seven, and then we're going to do times um, eight, six times two, and then I want you to figure out what the measurements would be for this part that would be missing, and that should be two and two and then work on using the subtraction method for that one. Um, because the other ones, we are going to need to use the addition method to figure it out. And one of the reasons for that is we it's difficult to tell what the exact amount is uh, supposed to be for that. So what we can do is go ahead and take our six times two times three for this side, four times two times two for this side. Um, if we tried to do with uh, the total volume, uh, we would end up with half uh, foot size gaps on each side. And so that ends up being a little bit trickier than doing it the other way. So for this one, what I'm going to suggest uh, for number four is to go ahead and do it a little bit something like this. So we have our width of two. We have um, our measurement uh, for this one uh, being the three centimeters. Um, so the, the difference in the shape, what you're seeing here, is going to be a difference in the height. So the height on this side is one centimeter lower than it is on this. So what we can do is we can figure out that this is going to be four high, this is going to be three high. And so we can do six minus four to get our measurement of two here. And then we can do uh, three plus two to figure out that this is going to be five. Okay, we can do 10 minus two minus two to get the measurement for this, and everything is going to have the same uh, depth or width of three. So that should give us everything we need to know for that one. Number five has a really, really interesting um, trick to it. So one of the things that I would suggest is that we go ahead and make it into two rectangular prisms so we can find the volume to start with by um, getting the measurements of nine times four times two and add to that um, our three times four times two. And so when we do that, that's going to give us our total volume. The second half of the problem wants us to replace these numbers um, representing each foot as two inches. So we're going to be multiplying by two and changing the unit to inches. So for instance, this measurement would change from two feet to four inches. This would change to 18 inches. This would change to eight inches and so on. Um, so all of our measurements are going to change like that. And then we are going to re-find the volume in inches using our new uh, kind of representation here. So for instance, this part will be 18 times eight times four uh, for the bottom volume, and that would be represented in inches. And our top one would be eight times four times six represented in inches. So those are what we're working with for that. I'm going to go ahead and put a pause in the video so that you can figure out the answers to those uh, or try to find them on your own. And then we will talk through the answers when you come back from the break. So I'll see you in just a moment. All right, so welcome back from the break. Let's go ahead and take a look at our answers. So for number one, we are working uh, with eight times four times two, which gives us 64 cubic inches for the bottom rectangular prism. Our top is going to be four times three times two, which is 24 cubic inches. And when we add those together, we get a total volume of 88 cubic inches. For number two, let's uh, go ahead and figure out what we need to work with. So seven minus three is going to come into play to figure out the value for both of these. We have four uh, centimeters left over, so two on each side would be the way that we would do that. And we are going to have a two by two by one gap on this side and the same thing on this side. 
we can do six plus two centimeters to figure out that our starting volume would be seven times eight, which would give us 56, subtract out our two uh, groups of four, and that would give us 48 cubic centimeters. For number three, on the left-hand side, we're working with six times two times three, which gives us 36. Four times two times two for the right-hand side, that gives us 16 for a total of 52 cubic feet. For number four, um, this one's a little bit tricky because we do not have the same height on this side as we do on this. And so we can find that out um, by doing six minus four. This measurement is going to be two. We have a measurement for height here, actually, uh, in this section here. And so three plus the two here would give us five on this side. So knowing that we can now plug in everything else because 10 minus two minus two is going to give us six from the left to right here. So three times five gives us 15 times two gives us 30 for this. Six times two times three is going to give us 36. And six times two times three from front to back here will also give us 36. That gives us a total of 102 centimeters cubed. For number five, um, we are doing nine times four times two, which is going to be 72. For the uh, volume of the bottom rectangular prism, the top one is going to be three times four times two, which is 24, which gives us 96 cubic feet. Now, the second part of the problem wants us to replace that by representing uh, two inches in place of each foot. So we would multiply our number by two uh, for each of these measurements and then change it to inches. So when we do that, we would be doing 18 times eight, which gives us 144 times four gives us 576. And that's going to give us the bottom portion. Double all the numbers for the top. We're working with eight times six, which gives us 48 times four, which gives us 192. And then when we add those together, we will get 768 cubic inches. So looking at the homework problems, again, my Risen Christ students were working with evens on the front, one and two on the back, um, but I'm gonna give you suggestions for each problem. So what I would suggest is kind of matching what I've drawn here. So take a close look at those uh, for how that would end up working. Um, and then I'm going with the strategy of adding each time. So all of these, if we break them up, uh, should be relatively easy to work with. Pause the video if you need to, go ahead and draw those in. I'll let you practice uh, figuring out what the exact measurements are going to be. For number one on the back, we are going to use the subtraction strategy. So we're gonna do three times five times two to start with, and then we get our measurements. So this one, we're taking away one. So that's gonna give us four going this direction. We can get one inch here, and we are keeping uh, the same depth of two inches. So that will help us with that. And so for this one, we get all of our measurements. We're just pretending that we're putting one on top of the other. So all you need to do is go ahead and find the volume of each of these, add them together, and you will have your correct answer. All right, so for number four, what we're looking at is a picture where they kind of started filling things in. They're not asking you to find the volume of the cubes that are shown. They want the volume of the entire shape. So again, we can just use multiplication uh, nine times three times two to figure that out. They're not trying to trick you with this. Um, we will do something with this next year um, with cubes as we find um, fractional parts. So half inch for our uh, cubes uh, we'll change the way that we work on that, but we're not doing that just yet. So uh, that covers what I would like to go over for the homework. So if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to uh, myself if you're a Risen Christ student or your classroom teacher. Um, the homework video for this will come out on Thursday and there will be an additional um, explanation in that video about things that will be coming this summer. So I will see you tomorrow in the next video.